Okay, YouTube, this is just Tim Johnson coming at you Wednesday, November the 3rd. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about this Travis Scott recent update. So I'm sure the social media platforms have been a buzz. The Cactus Jack Discord has been a buzz too. We'll get into that in a moment. I just want to say first and foremost, shout out to Brittany Dottenache. I want y'all to go over and follow her on IG. Essentially, she now has the link for State Gold and Cosmetics available in her bio. So you can click on that in any of her post or reel. So that way y'all can get that discount because it is the holiday season. Shout out to Flight Academy Kicks too. Uh, you know, he grinding right now uh, on the road to uh, 28,000. And uh, he getting the store up and running. So it's a beautiful thing. Uh, normally, you all know we do Sneaker Study Wednesday night. Uh, I gave Flight the night off because I, I wanted him to, you know, to hit the reset button and have that work-life balance. So you're welcome, Flight, but we're coming back next week to Sneaker Study Wednesday. Okay, now back to the news. So about an hour ago, there was a social media buzz about the a potential Cactus Jack shock drop, all right? So what ended up happening essentially is if any of you all are in tune with the Cactus Jack Discord or any Discord in general, you got some uh, lateral alerts about it. What occurred was is that the Cactus Jack, they did a countdown. They said, hey, once we get to 5K reacts, we're going to have a big announcement, right? So I'm sitting there on my phone. I'm hitting the react button. I'm really hitting it because I really want to, you know, I, I want to get this next Cactus Jack. Potentially, we thought it might have been a restock on the Cactus Jack highs or the Cactus Jack Air Max uh, 90 that's going to be released in December 16th. I believe that's the date according to all the uh, media outlets and uh, most of the sneaker plugs. So... 38 minutes of my life that I'll never get back. They end up doing a ticket sale for limited tickets for the Cactus Jack charity event that's going to be at Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas, where the Cactus Jack Discord announced that that's the only way you will have exclusive access. You have to have a ticket and be present at the Celebrity All-Star Game or the Charity All-Star Game, I should say, in order to get access. Now, they didn't disclose how many... What was the inventory allotment? Uh, what was the process? Were they going to do a raffle or a draw? Was it going to be a sneaker stash? Which probably is more than likely going to end up being. Now, the good news is for the people of Houston after the, you know, I, I know you all uh, had a bit of a rough week. You made it to the World Series and you lost to the Atlanta Braves. Shout out to the Atlanta Braves organization for bringing home the World Series after 25 plus years. Uh, Houston, uh, I think they lost four games to two. Uh, and the odds make us say that they are, Second to, I think, the top of making it back to the World Series and winning it next year. So they have pretty good odds of repeating and, and taking it one step further. So that's something positive. Now, there has been talk in the sneaker community about Houston not having a access or a stash or anything with any Cactus Jack release in the past, right? Or it, it hasn't been to what the Houston local community felt would be sufficient. And, and you know, to a point, as a sneakerhead, I agree with that. You know, because if he's from Houston, then essentially you have to market it towards your hometown. Now, that's not to say that he doesn't do, do other things for the, the community in general of the Houston metropolitan area. His charity event is for that area. He does other uh, philanthropy, philanthropic endeavors in his hometown. So it's not like he just totally just disregarded Houston just for the sake of, and I'm not sure if it's something that, his marketing team or a Nike marketing team has creative control over, all right? So with that, uh, now they have an opportunity in Houston. Um, I looked it up. It's a 16-hour drive. It's a $700 round tip trip ticket on Southwest per person. If you got frequent flyer miles or you got a Southwest buddy pass, go ahead and drop it some, a DM in Brittany Dottenache or just Tim Johnson and give us that hookup because we're definitely going down there. We're trying to be the next people with them, all right? So this goes back to what we were saying on our previous video. You have to be strategic about how you take your L's, all right? Now, is this a shoe that I want to go chase? The Travis Scott that's releasing again, potentially on the sneakers app on the 16th? Or do I just, you know, fold the tents and hold fast until the 16th? I'm going to fold the tents and hold fast until at least the 16th before I make any type of uh, desperate moves, all right? Like Flight always says, never hustle out of desperation. Uh, more on that in another upcoming video, too. What I wanted to talk about is, is that for those of you all who are, in, are going to be visiting Houston, Minute Maid Stadium or Minute Maid uh, Park, or however it's called, forgive me if I'm misquoting it, but it's where the Houston Astros play. Uh, definitely, you know, partake of the event. It's supposed to be a two or three day event. So I definitely hope you all get at least one opportunity to take advantage of this drop or the sneaker stash or whatever it's going to be. 
uh, us within the overall, you know, uh, universal or national sneaker community, we're rooting for y'all, all right? It, it does us no good to sit here and hate on somebody in the Houston area if we don't have opportunity for it. Hey, each one, reach one. That's how we, you know, if you are a sneakerhead, you want to see somebody get that L. It's not about me being salty about L uh, not getting it per se. If somebody else got an opportunity, I want to share, you know, man, put it on social media. Let's help us celebrate your success. In addition to that, I want to also make a... Uh, observation that there's some changes to these apps that uh, retail apps like finish line JD sports have changed and altered the way they're going to be doing sneaker releases going forward uh, the flex entity which is foot locker foot action kids foot locker champ sports and East Bay have updated their apps and they're going to be making some strategic changes that's gonna you know springboard them going forward and how they release the sneakers I actually got a survey from foot locker let me say this, sneaker community. Anytime, uh, and I, I've said this in my previous videos, feedback is a gift, all right? Anytime corporate America asks you for your feedback, be 100% or as transparent as possible in that feedback. It can only help us in the long run. Or they could be just doing it just for lip service. A lot of times, sometimes corporate America do, they just throw a survey out there just for the sake of saying they did a survey. So they said, hey, you know, we provided an opportunity or a platform for you to give your feedback. And here's the feedback that we got. And guess what? The price is about to go up too. Or well, shipping and handling is about to go up. Rest assured, when it comes to corporate America, never forget this. Every time they give you something, they take something away. All right? Knowledge. Don't forget that. Every time they give you something, they're about to take something away. So we're going to be on the lookout for what that is. But yeah, if you get a from any entity that you do business with. I don't care if it's eBay, Foot Locker, Finish Line, Champs, Nike, whoever. You know, if you have the time to dedicate it and, and you, you know, and don't do it from an emotional content, you know, don't do it behind your last L because it's not, you're not going to provide that beneficial, transparent feedback to help you and help anybody else in the long run, okay? So just remember that, just food for thought, you know, and be, always uh, feel free to share feedback on my platform as well. Feedback is a gift. I'm looking for you all to help me get better at this so I can continue to improve on my content, all right? So y'all will probably see us, if not tomorrow, definitely next week on Sneaker Study Wednesday on Flight's channel. We're going to be going live soon on Britney's IG. Uh, we're getting ready for the holiday season, so we're going to be uh, strategically, strategi we're going to strategize, forgive me, about what giveaway we're going to have for the holiday season. Uh, in addition to that, hey, be on the lookout for potential shock drops. Again, we still have yet to see a actual drop on the sneakers app or any other platform other than the Travis Scott website for the Travis Scott one fragment highs that released this year. All right. They ain't running for sure the year. So we got to see what Nike or what fragment or Travis Scott or however that, that collaboration goes, who has the, who's running point on that, what they're going to do for the sneaker community. So keep your eyes and ears open. If you're part of a discord, uh, shout out to, uh, Got him cards. Shout out to teammate within. He's a moderator in the Got him cards Discord because he definitely was Johnny on the spot with that information. Shout out to Unbreakable Kicks. Shout out to Flight Academy Kicks. Shout out to Brittany Dot Shea. Shout out to Chaotic Kicks. There's a lot of content creators that have a lot of detailed information like Z Sneakerhead Z, just to name a few, and the other ones that I name that you all can follow. You all can subscribe to their YouTube channels and get a prize. Information is power in this day and age. So definitely stay in the loop, all right? With that, we're going to close. The next video I'm going to bring to you all will probably be in the next day or two. We're going to talk about uh, how do you strategize for the next year and upcoming releases. Like what homework or what legwork do you put in? What releases are heat to you and what releases are hype? What is a must-have or a must-cop and what is what you can do without? What shoes are you going to pay resale for and what shoes you can just sit and, and, and if you take an L on it, you're just going to be like, forget about it. So I want to talk about that. Talk to me and I'll talk back, okay? So again, YouTube, this is just Tim Johnson, same Monica on IG. You know, subscribe if you haven't. If it's your first time here, go ahead and hit, hit that thumbs up. And again, you want to leave a comment or a feedback, I'm extremely grateful for that. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to listen to this. Uh, we're going to walk this mile together, all right?